and every diaper she had was, well, say running down her leg. And oh, so no. I had to give her like 10 baths a day and it was just not a fun day. Jay, do you deal with a lot of mom shamers and you're not afraid to call them out, which I think is fantastic, but is there anything that really hit close to home or that really bothered you and you know, you felt the need to really kind of defend yourself and really stand up for yourself? Um, I feel like I've been better lately about trying to just like let the stuff roll off my like, shoulders. But like, it is hard when you share so much of your family because people want to see it and people reach out and they say, oh, you're such a light for me in this like dark time. Like we love seeing your kids smiling, your kids, but then you get the shamers and they're the haters and like who say things about children. And I'm like, children are off limits, right? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you, why are you, I had somebody tell me that my daughter was a idiot I'm like she's two like don't even go there like it's like so I mean you have to just understand that it's not about you and it's about them and whatever they're going through like they're just projecting but it should be completely off limits and that's like when I will call somebody out because you that behavior is not acceptable and people need to know that mm -hmm. no totally I totally agree with you it's really messed up kids should be off limits and proudest and grossest uh, parenting moment during this whole thing <laughs> Grossest? I mean, Jade's made me change a lot more poopy diapers. And there were times, there was a, there, this is kind of gross, but there was a day where Emmy, she was like sick over three days, and every diaper she had was, well, say, running down her leg. And oh, so no. I had to give her like 10 baths a day, and it was just not a fun day for me. That's not a fun day at all. <laughs> Tough day. Yeah, no. I feel like, um, something that happened to the other day, our daughter stuck, I guess, cause our kids are bored too. Our daughter decided to stick a bead up her nose. Oh no. That was kind of scary. Cause I was like, are we gonna have to take her to the ER? Or like, are we gonna be able to get it out? But I was able to fish it out with some tweezers. And that was kind of a panicky moment. Oh my God. <laughs> I would imagine. What have you guys learned about each other during this time? Ah, oh, man, we've, I mean, it's been hard at times. I'm not gonna lie, we're spending a long time together. We, we already spent a lot of time in our day-to-day like -day lives. We but, work together, right? so we're together. We, we're, we work from home, so like, we already are used to each other. So I can only imagine those couples that both had like nine to fives, that they're home right now, all day, every day. They're getting a whole new look at each other. Like, yeah. There's either gonna be a spike in babies or a spike in divorces when this is over. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which. What everyone says. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe both. So I feel like I feel like because there is we've had to adjust to such a new normal. I feel like Tanner's probably had to take on maybe a little more responsibilities than he is used to. I've had to rely on him more. Um, because we did, like he said, we don't have the resources that we used to have. Like we haven't seen our mother and my mother-in-law. Um, she used to watch the kids on the weekend for us so we could go do things and like connect as a couple. And like, we don't have that right now. And we don't have the gym where we like, that was kind of like a place for us to, uh, take ourselves. the kids go to care. We don't have those things. So kind of had to like learn how to, communicate better because <laughs> there have been situations I feel like where we've both been like flustered because both kids are crying or once one kid stops crying the other one's crying and we've had to like yeah like, like I said before the first couple of weeks of this were hard because like we could we had no had help or communication anything so like it was just a lot with kids and husband and wife and just I think we were both ready for a change but we're we're starting to do a little better, trying to get out on safe walks and just little things like that. Try a little bit of a long time throughout the day when possible, just to get away. But uh, we've, yeah. we're, we're, I don't think she's gonna divorce me. <laughs>